Tell me what brings you out here tonight to something. Uh, well, I mean, I think it's always important to give back to the community. I'm very involved in uh, an organization myself called uh, the Juntos Foundation. So I want to get other people excited about it as well. And what is your foundation passionate Actually, about? My brother is one of the founders of the foundation. And it is a foundation um, that tries to give back to uh, cardiomyopathy and uh, cancer patients as well. Um, so we try to get money to find um, treatments for for those two diseases and we go back to make a wish and try to do things for those patients that suffer from those diseases. Now this weekend is all about the teens. What do you yes. feel or how do you feel about the whole fact that charities are coming and targeting teens specifically? I think it's great. I mean, I think it starts at a, it's great to get the young people excited about that. And if you start that at a young age, um, all the better. You grow up on that right path and then you can inspire other people as well. All right, now what about you here? <laughs> what are you up to these days? Well, actually we are incredibly busy. Um, I'm on Make It or Break It on ABC Family. And we just got picked up for another 10 episodes, thankfully. And we have the we were nominated for a Teen Choice Awards, which we have tomorrow. So I just got back the, from the TV Critics Association press junket today. So it's been busy, busy, and we couldn't be happier. Is this numero uno when it comes to you going to the Teen Choice Awards? Is this what? Numero uno, is this your first time? Oh, yes. Definitely. And so we're really excited. I was going to say, are you nervous? Are you jittery? Anything? I'm more excited than anything. I think my mom over there is more nervous than I am. So, um, I had a question. Oh, make it or break it. Were you into gymnastics? What, what were you like when it, in school? What was I like in school? Um, I did gymnastics when I was younger, and I was only good at the floor. Unfortunately, there are another three apparatuses that you have to be really great at. You got one down. I got one down really well. So I actually became a competitive cheerleader, and um, I just tumbled for them. So I'm actually pretty knowledgeable on the floor and stuff like that. And then I went to an art school for high school, and I was in musical theater, and I was, you know, into the performing arts and all of that. Now, you look gorgeous. What are you wearing you. tonight? I am wearing a dress from uh, Boutique, and these are Prada shoes. My jewelry is Mesh NY. So... Okay, one last quick question for you. Um, for kids or adults who want to get into the entertainment industry, do you have any tips, even if they don't live out here? Um, I just always just surround yourself with it. I mean, I'm from Miami, Florida, and uh, obviously not, I wasn't, I didn't grow up in this kind of industry, um, but I was always just trying to be really, really active, uh, whether it be in my own school plays or just picking up a, uh, picking up a play myself or grabbing a CD from a Broadway show. You know, just trying to always be active in performance. Now, did you say, uh, you said Broadway, did you want to get into singing as well? Is that actually, another? <laughs> I grew up doing musical theater, so I actually do or did sing. Um, not so much anymore, more into the TV film aspect of it all. Okay, we've got inside scoop though. Now that you've brought that up, are you going to be doing anything with music? Anything that we can see later on maybe? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, I'm keeping it on, on the screen, on the screen. All right, that was a pretty definitive answer that we got from you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks Have fun so tonight. Much. Thank really you. Nice to meet you.